some of the red flags. Maybe say as potential investor, as or as beginner investors, you guys make sure so you pay attention to. Now, why the reason I'm saying we'll bring this man, um, Mr. Deshino Adewumi, the founder of One Kiox, and a man we see understand a lot for the capital market and for the agro investment landscape. You're very much welcome, Mr. Deshino. Thank you very much. Yeah, so um, using um, Crowdinvest as a case study, a lot of people don't the talk to boy. Um, we put our hard earned money into this um, agro investment um, 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 company. And um, despite the fact that they don't put them, um, at least at the end of the year, they were expecting a return on investment. And throughout the year, they don't get any return on investment based on their promises. They don't, um, they don't break their, 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 their law. But what didn't really happen regarding um, Crowdinvest? I know you don't work there, but what really happened based on um, your knowledge in the space? All right, thank you very much. Uh, so the thing we say, most people they always put their money, you know, where they don't get, you know, adequate information. Yeah. You know, the truth we say, you must do your own due diligence. Yeah. Before you put your money, whether not crowdfunding, whether not crowdinvest, whether not any other platform will come to making a come put money, you must do your due diligence. It must be something where we say you understand how it they work. Yeah. And you must also be sure say that they use your money for what they talk say they go use them for. Nobody say they could just carry the money, go use and they buy you know other companies or they use you know short term you know money, go they use use and do long term activities. It must be say short term money now to generate short term mid-term activities, so that it could be something where we say will bring returns. No, we say when time reach to pay, you don't, don't know if you pay back the money. Okay, so um, apart from um, all this, um, you don't talk to me, they do their due diligence. No, if no fully well say they don't do their due diligence, which can exactly be the red flags we investors feel they um, look out for, oh, oh boy, as I see this thing, a red flag, my money no fee enter this um, um, investment asset class for the uh, um, agro-investment space. What can be the red flags in your own um, um, words? How do you think people can, what are the red flags they should look out for before putting their hard-end money, especially for a Greek sector? Some people, they always talk to this sector, and a sector we say get um, a lot of Greek rain, rainfall, you know, affect the crops. Um, some things will happen for farm and uh, different, different risks um, regarding the sector. But what are the red flags um, investors should look out for before putting their hard-earned money in the agri sector as regards investment? Okay, so one of the, one of the red flags where investors are supposed to look out for, we say, what did the people where they behind the business? What did they don't do before? Hmm. Now, the easiest way, what did they don't do before? Say these people understand, you know, the risks where they are associated with farming, especially for farming, you know, stuff. Say they don't go farm, they don't farm before. Yeah. You understand? Even apart from that, even the farmers say that they talk, say that they help. You don't go, go do survey, ask these farmers how these people, don't be say you just go, they snap picture up and down. You understand? They do the old flashy, flashy thing. You don't check, you know, to make sure say, these people, they, they always assist. Another way, be say, make you ask people where they don't put their money before. Because another thing we say for this space, most people know they talk too much. So you need to ask people. You don't put your money before. You don't see them. You don't go. You don't come up. You understand? You yeah. need to make sure, say, all those checks there. Another thing where we say you need to check, we say, how well, where did they grow? Hmm. How well, where did they grow? Because it easy make you, they use the money, they buy, buy things. where no necessary. Yeah. Just to show, say, yes, you they grow. But the most important thing we say, the engine, what thing they drive the business, the business operations, you don't check them, say, yes, this thing, they don't expand farmlands and they don't get harvest, they don't get insurance, where we say, go at least back up some of the risks where they associated to some of what thing that happen for farm. Okay, speaking of insurance, you talk insurance now. Um, a um, couple of years back, you get one investment asset, you get one investment, um, agro investment company, we say also um, experience the same thing. But despite the fact that they experience the same thing, investors come out talk say, um, when I talk say we they insured. Now they can't come out, they can't release official statement. Talk say now the company they insured. Nobody funds of the investors they insured. So how people for use make sure say okay the guys differentiate um, the, the, um, the, 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 the the guys differentiate between in insurance of the company and insurance of the funds of the investors as regards investing in the agri sector. Okay, so uh, my own understanding is say now regulation don't they fool all this uh, matter for crowdfunding. Yeah. You know? So the regulations now they make people. You know, to make sure, say, these investors, where you they put your money, you did very, very secure. In that sense, say, people must disclose all the information. So now, person of you just can't make you put money if they don't disclose fully, say, see, you, see the people who they work with. And the truth be say, now, we did for what we say, you feel always assess any platform. Yeah. So even if they just say they're insured for this company, if you go that company, go check. 
Make yourself not just put your money, send your money on top error where you know go come back. That's you right. Send your money for error where you say go come back to yeah. you. So you need to go check. Say yes, so what thing these people really do with you now? Share now insurance for the company. I mean, that the money what they put inside where they insure. Hmm. Okay, but how, how do you see the agri sector as regards investment in, in just a few sentences before we leave the studio? Because time no there aside. What will be, be the future of the agri sector? Because a lot they happen for other climes. But the Nigerian agri sector, I say we still they, they struggle. But what exactly is the future of the agri sector in Nigeria? The agri sector gets plenty of opportunities. The opportunity is Yakpa. For example, now I know say people they will be say between last year, November, and this January now. You understand? Of last month, they mop up plenty of agro commodities mm. in millions of naira, in millions of dollars. So opportunities, yakpa. Whether na export, we never even reach full potential. We never even reach fifty percent. So the truth be say, yes, some kind of bad X day, but that no means say good X day. In fact, for the past say bad X day, now reprove say good X day. Mm. So investors, when they listen to us today, may they make sure say they look for those good people. Those people will be say they know they over shout, they know they make noise. Nobody buy noise. Mm. Now by the work where people they do to make sure say they understand the business and they, they protect the money where you put for their head. Thank you very much, Mr. Deumi Adeshinol, as the founder of One Kyok. See, don't come out, don't talk to your boy. Say, make you do your due diligence. And um, nobody, nobody, nobody by shouting. See, some people do say that they're cool headed for the sector and they are doing the right thing. Carry your heart and money and invest in the sector. A great sector and a sector where we say they very, 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 as regards the, they very, very large as regards the value chain. And if you're the reason the value chain of the agri sector, you're going to say, oh boy, you need a lot to do in that sector. There is a lot to do as regards playing in this sector. My name is Nafagba Frank, and um, time to do our side to discuss everything we need to understand about the Nigerian business landscape. No go anywhere because the, Niger the, the Good Money Nigeria Show continues. Stay profitable.